or accredited from a uh, accredited dental school. Mm -hmm. So um, there are graduates of programs that are not accredited by the CODA, and then still there are now uh, about 33 programs or 33 dental schools here in the United States who accept international dental graduates. And I'll, we will talk in a minute about what does this mean. Uh, these programs are known as advanced standing programs or international dentist program. These programs, they allow individuals or the applicants to be admitted or dentists to be admitted into the dental school and then they recognize their previous dental degree that they have. For, for, for example, I was, uh, came from Sudan, so I had already have a dental degree, but in order, the first step to get a license is you have to have an American dental degree in order to be licensed. So this is the, the most of the time, this is the, the first step. So basically the applicant goes back to school for two, year, two, two years mainly uh, to receive a DDS or a DMD. That's, that's the, the first step. So in summary, to get uh, to know the requirements before you get a license as a general dentist, and that's the first opportunity, is you need to determine which state or states you want to practice, which region in the United States you want to practice in. And then you need to get your uh, certificates or your diplomas from Sudan evaluated. And there are diff different uh, bodies, but mainly the ECE is the one that determines the, um, the evaluation and the eligibility for the, for the exam. And, and I remember in, in our time, we graduated from the University of Khartoum, the results were in the pass-fail uh, uh, format. So they needed to be converted to a GPA format because that's a, the, uh, the American system in order to be recognized and, and, and uh, before you can apply for the, uh, for the board exam. You also need uh, to take the TOEFL and then the National uh, Board uh, Dental Exam Part 1. That's the, the, uh, the main requirement. Some programs do require uh, Part 2 also. And then the next step is to uh, apply to a dental school that have the advanced standing or the international dental program. They, uh, they are pretty much the same the advanced standing program, as I said, dental school here is four years. So some schools that have the advanced standing program, they will put you in the third year of the, uh, the dental school. So you're, you're joining the same class with the traditional uh, students, and then you do the third and the fourth year, and then you finish your dental uh, uh, school and get your dental degree. That's the advanced standing program. The international dentist program, other schools have separate programs for international dentists. So you have your own classes and your own clinic and your own lab separate from the, from the uh, traditional class. Once you finish the program, then you get your uh, DDS or DMD, and then you need to pass a clinical uh, licensing exam, and that's uh, what I said, the, uh, the state or the regional exam of, of the state where you want to practice. And then you need to complete the, uh, the state dental board application plus any uh, other requirements that are required by the state where you want to practice. And then once you get all that, you get your license, then you practice either as an associate in a private practice or a partner of that private practice, or you can open or start your own, your own practice. So there are different, as you see, there are uh, steps, but once you do all these steps, then you can achieve the first opportunity available, which is to practice as a general dentist in the, uh, in the United States. Did you see the difference? There is a huge difference between what you guys are used to going through the UCMLE and directly to a residency versus what we have to go uh, through to get a license. And obviously, you know, going back to school, that's a huge amount of uh, expenses that has to be paid as tuition fees and living expenses and, and, and time given to the, uh, to the programs. 